G'day and welcome back to Powertech TV. Here we have a bit of a unicorn. 2017 Motorsport Edition. Last of the last, best of the best. Done 1500 Ks from new. And the guy came in, he said to me, he said, Martin, I think it's got a bit of a problem. I want some wine under the bonnet. And he's not talking about cask wine here, he's talking about Harrop wine. So, full Pro Extreme Harrop exhaust system, 2300, big banger sitting on top, stock LS3 underneath, through my favorite transmission, it's a manual six speed. And we're gonna put this on the dyno very shortly, it's only been a two day conversion, put it on the dyno, spin her up and really stretch her legs. So next segment, you'll see this thing get going, but what a beauty, the proper unicorn. Oh yeah, and by the way, notice I'm wearing gloves. I speak, and unicorns, Martin wearing gloves. I've actually been doing some work. Amazing stuff all in its own right. See you soon. And here we are, day and a half later, as per usual. The team have bolted the supercharger on. We've put the full Harrop Pro Extreme exhaust system on. Carbon tips in place, bled up the cooling system, flashed the base, tune into it. And even though it's got a stock cam, which will make this an interesting thing on the dyno because all of our previous cars have been cammed, it still sounds pretty cool. Let's start it up. <laughs> oh. Listen to that, idles beautifully on that stock cam. Also revs a treat too. Well, that's a bit of a rev. Okay, I reckon that's what we are. Pop, pop, bang. Yeah, what a beauty. We'll get it on the dyno and see how it goes. Really stretch its legs. And as usual, the Harrop combination on this VF Motorsport delivered the goods through the manual six speed transmission. My favorite, as you might know. We rocked up with 251 kilowatts at the wheels. We put it out the door with a nice safe 402. Another massive gain, another big torque increase of, you know, uh, 518 to 929 Newton meters at three and a half thousand RPM. But interesting, interestingly enough, this car did have a problem. Even for a car with only 1500 Ks on the clock, the standard fuel pump wouldn't support more than around 280 kilowatts at the wheels before it simply ran out of fuel pressure. Quite a common problem in the last built VF2 Commodores. A new ZL1 fuel pump set up, fine, away it went again, perfect as it should be. So just be aware of that, the very last of the Commodores, some of them had a bit of a dodgy fuel pump in them from factory. Anyway, we identified it very quickly and fixed it. We've made this collectible and classic car even more collectible and even more classic, and I hope it stays in this family for generations. So again, the guy picked the right mods, the tasteful mods, had them executed perfectly, ended up with over 400 at the wheels. What a result, what a car, and thanks for watching Powertech TV.